What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In case you didn't know, every time I gain a subscriber, an angel gains its wings. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now today's video is going to be quick and simple. We're going to be installing some case fans in my desktop. So I also ended up purchasing two cheap case fans off Amazon just to throw them into these two spots that I have available. Um, one is down here and the other is, oh, I'm gonna have to take the front off, but it's right above this one here. So I'm gonna throw another one in there. So it's hard to see because it's clear, but there is an arrow here showing you which way the air flows, which is pointing up right now. So I'm gonna be putting this just like this on the bottom here so that the air blows from the bottom of the tower upwards. The other one I'm gonna have back here also blowing into the inside of the tower. So what I'm gonna do is slide this mesh back here. As you can see, it connects right under here. Just remove that and I'm gonna screw it in from the bottom here. All right, so once you're done screwing it, you're just gonna put this mesh back on right under here. I figured most of you are old enough to know how to screw by now, so I didn't need to show that on camera. All right, so for my case, the front just pops right off. As you can see, it's not screwed in or anything. It just pops off and pops on, but we may not all have the same case, so definitely double check yours. I don't wanna tell you to go break yours and just pop it off if it's screwed in, so double check that. So as you can see, these came with some small screws, and unfortunately, I need long ones to get them all the way through, but luckily, I had some extra long ones from the Kraken uh, X52 that I installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use these. All right, so there we go. I just screwed in these four right here in the front to mount it. I'm going to be running the cable through here and connecting it, connecting it over here. So I am gonna get rid of this whole part of the case. I don't plan on getting any more hard drives or anything. Um, I will be getting an M.2, so I'm gonna be getting rid of all this so there's some better airflow coming through here and it's not blocking everything. So to take this part off, there's two of these little thumb screws that look like this that are holding it in here on the side, one there and one over here. So once you take those out, this whole thing can slide out, as you can see. I had to disconnect the graphics card because the cable was passing through here. So as you can see, you can pull it all the way out and everything's falling everywhere. Let me put this camera down. So I connected one of the fans right here and the other one down here. Oops, right there. It may be hard to see on camera, but I did get the blue LED ones. Looks kind of purple on here, but they're blue. And then there's the front one. So as you can see in the video, it's a very simple install. Now, one thing I did want to mention, since I did not connect it to my motherboard, I can't control the fan speed. So if that's something you want, find some slots, um, some connectors on your motherboard and you can connect it uh, through there and control the speed. But mine's just gonna be running at full speed at all times, so it's whatever. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you guys on the next one. Thanks.